Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to take a look at how we can style our form elements and give them a little bit of beautification. And we're going to do this using our CSS styles. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos and let's go. So uh, we have our original styles that we've created and what we're going to do is in essence, we're just going to create a few more. So this is our base for our input default. Uh, let's make another one. Increase the size a bit. Uh, so this could be called input red. Let's make another a bit of a greenish tone too. And what we're going to do for this is we're actually going to create this as the hover state. So we have a separate style. We have a hover. Uh, let's apply our red style to uh, our email. Let's actually backtrack. And what I want to do is keep the default, but also add the red. So this is also how you would add multiple styles for a single element. So we have a hover state. Uh, we have two individual defaults for text and the shape. We also have a red state. Let's make a couple more. So the button, let's give the button a highlight. So this is in essence just so we can actually see it. Uh, the shape itself, let's copy this. Let's give it a highlight effect. So give it a shadow possibly. Actually, let's change this to hover. And now we have a hover state for our button. Now, mind you, how you lay this out is completely up to you. Okay, so we have another state for our default. Uh, let's make another state completely different. Call this input grad. And let's create another font definition. So this, let's call this input grad. So the font name will also call grad. Okay, so we have a couple of different definitions that we've created for styles. Now, design wise, I really wasn't going too hectic with this. Uh, what I'm going to want to do, though, is possibly place this here so we can see the white text behind it or in front of it, I should say. All right, so now let's add that to our password. Okay, so now that we've created a few different styles, let's go and let's take a look. Okay, so now we can see that our highlight changes to the green that we placed. This is red, but it also has the green highlight uh, because we do have the default state as well. I should have made uh, the text a little bit more white. It seems like it dropped off at gray, uh, but that's okay. And the gradient, it looks like there's something we need to change uh, when you're adding a gradient to a text element because the angle seems off. But that's okay. We'll get that fixed in a future update. Now let's test our rollover for our button. You'll see that the rollover was expected and except for the text, the text did not change. Oh, we didn't add another stuff for the text. That's why. But quick and easily, you'll see that we were able to style many elements of our input form. And we could have styled more. We could have added styles for our custom drop-down menus. Uh, let's actually test that. So let's, I guess, create another shape here. Eh, why not? So we're going to use this specifically for our select and how we're going to target this. We're going to add a style for our select, uh, another individual style. Let's just call it select for argument's sake. So now the name of the layer has to be very specific to target, uh, in essence, the options. So what we're going to do is because it's called select, we're going to add double arrow and what this will do is this will target an individual child element. So we can now target the OL, the option, sorry. And let's assume we wanted that background. Let's use something bluish. Let's re-export. And now you'll see easily we were able to target the options. Now we could have targeted each individual option for the rollover, but again, it's completely up to you uh, how you want to style your Figma export to get the perfect output.